Hello, people. It's me. I'm Biggie. I'm back. Well, we're going to do something a little bit different today. It's not really an LP quite as of yet. It's more of a um, new possibility. Let's say something like that. Well, over the years, I've played a lot of games. And me being in Thailand, I get a gamut of games, both from the um, uh, NTSC, the USA side, and from the Japanese side. Um, and this is probably the crowning well, moment of my, uh, well, the crowning moment of my career. That's not the right way to say it. It's probably one of the games I played a lot as a kid. And most of you probably have never seen it or known about it, which is a pity because this game's awesome. Of course, it's Japanese, so if you're not into this kind of stuff, don't worry about it. And it is a game by Bandai. Oh, you already know what is going on going to go on now if you know Bandai. Yep, this is a Gundam game. And it's a strategy game, so it's uh, if you're not into strategy games, oh well. <laughs> if you know what two na those two names are if you're a Gundam fan of any sort. Ah, the PS1. What memories. Even playing it on a flat screen TV. Wow, that's that stuff's the you know, the bee's knees back when it was there. There we go with the beam rifle and the beam shield. Oh, no, like, like a normal shield, I guess. Zaku just jumped out of the uh, screen there and it broke. Oh. You see that I think that's also last two. Could be the first one, uh, I don't know. And there's the original Gundam with Dream Sword, that was a Zeta. And some hands for some odd reason. And over here is Burning Gundam, but known overseas over here as God Gundam. Ooh, blasphemy. That's that huge phallic gunship. That's in the, uh, I believe it's in the v Victory Gundam series. There you go. <laughs> it's just really a huge cannon with balls at the side. I don't know what the creator was thinking. Told me Osan was thinking. That was um, GB0F1 uh, from the Stardust Memory series. GB01FB, I think that's what it's called. But yeah. This game just has a ton, a ton, a ton, and ton of Gundams in it. All the way up to um, Turn A Gundam, uh, which is um, probably the turning point in the Gundam series. Series? Series. Um, yeah, this is not a real game. Here's the Gundam G Generation. F is the original game, and FIF, <coughs> pardon me, FIF is a game based that basically is a um, spin-off of the original game. Well, it's more of a um, like bonus disc. Oh, damn it, I missed the um, sub button. But uh, I'll just let the demo run. Yeah. <laughs> Red Comet, Charles Novel vs. Amaru Ray. <laughs> and it's, it uses sim somewhat similar to a <coughs> kind of like the 32-bit um, graphics, just a little bit better. Ah, look at that! That's the hammer. Uh, and not every one of them has a character animation, but as you can see here, that it's pretty, pretty darn awesome. That's uh, uh, by um, PlayStation. Well, PlayStation standards. As an easy zero, easy eight. Shiro Amada, one of my favorites. The eighth, um, I think the eighth MS team. And that's absolutely. I had no idea how it could jump up that high, actually. But yeah, this is. I mean, this game is like super special, awesome in in its own way. Well, as I was saying, 
this is not the latest in the series. There are lots of other newer, newer games. Ooh, exam system. Such an obscure series. This is the um, uh, the Blue Destiny series. Ooh, critical hit. The Blue Destiny series with the Ifrit and the uh, Gundam Blue Destiny. Yeah. Anyways, the um, where was I at? Yeah, there are later games in the series, namely the um, SD Gundam G-Generation Wars for the PS2. But one function that they removed since G-Generation F is the multiplayer battle. And the multiplayer battle in this game is very, very, very good. It's basically a um, turn-based strategy game for um, all of our... Um, well, we just usually have you know, sleepovers. And we sit down and uh, have game night where we just sit and play this game. This is another obscure um, spin off of the Gundam series, you know, the white dingoes. You know, part some somewhere that we, nobody knows about. That's the GM sniper. Or Jim sniper. Okay, I guess we'll start. Oh, do you want to? Yeah, let's see one more. If you're a, a Gundam fan of any sort, you know what this this is about. That's a modified Zack Z- Z- Two, and that is Christy with the um, Gundam Alice. Is it Alex? Yeah, Alex Gundam. <laughs> One of my favorites as well. Love and tragedy and all that stuff. Yeah. Anyways, let's head on. We have a limited time here. So let's keep going. Yeah, let's just do beginner start. We're not going to load anything. Well, we can load the save file, but um, no need for that for the moment. Now this game basically is a um, fun little add-on to the SD Gun G Generation F, and you can load the save file for the for any kind of like mode, like this mode, Super Challenge mode, where you um, play a campaign, like a single single match campaign, where you just bring out your strongest group and fight. Like that, this one's just simply ridiculous. If you can see briefly in the background, there's a bunch of hollows there, and you know, you could buy like super hollows and psycho hollows and s- various other silly, silly little robots, which will just like cream your opponent. There's Gundam Fight EX. In Gundam Fight, you bring out your strongest MS or uh, mobile fighter or whatever, and just go against ten other robots and survive and get a little prize at the end. Customized room, you get a customize a basically you customize a um your original team in, in the uh, degeneration g- uh, game and uh, get things like um, character upgrades and all those little, little nuances and goodies. It's a perfect profile which I read a lot of Japanese so just only read Kana and just the CG gallery is pretty interesting. Battle simulator. Actually, we have some time. Why don't we go into the battle simulator? Okay, we just wait for the lag, and we just go with, you know, there's a bunch of stuff. There's the Gundam versus the Zhiyong, but we're gonna go with, um, let's see. Let me beef up on my katakana a bit. Uh, Kakiku ke ko sa shi 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 ya. Nope, you know what? I just go with go. There we go. God Gundam. You can even pick one with a horse on it, I think. Yeah. No, I just go with the normal God Gundam. <laughs> so, uh, there's the God Finger. And. Who will drive it? Oh, has to be Domon, hasn't he? 
to go on. No, that's not him. Go on, Gashu. There we go. Super high tension. There we go. We have a cutting animation now. And it has to be um, Master Gun. That's it. So to ha fu ma. Master Gundam, the Golden Pipe. Uh, <laughs> Char has a cut in animation for that. But, um... Darkness Finger. And it has to be Master Asia. I think his name is To Ho Fu Hai here, so let's go. To... It's gotta be here somewhere. There we go. To Ho Fu Hai, Master Asia. Super high tension. Awesome! And, well, you could both be hit. Yeah, let's do both hits. And, and just ignore the HP thing. <laughs> and we're just gonna lag for a bit, for um, safety reasons, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Brace for epic! Finger of God to make the same difference. Oh, yeah. And technically, he should be dead, but this is a cut animation demo thing, so who cares? Oh, there we go. You are, you are an idiot. Ah, oh, that's gotta hurt. I could slow mo. Yeah. Yeah, some epic damage right there, but anyways, you could do that with, with this game as well. You just gotta scroll through the hundreds and hundreds of um, mobile suits and Hundreds of pilots, yeah. No, thousands of mobiles so and hundreds of pilots to, to actually do that. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the battle match thing. Well, as I was saying, this is the last of the G Gen series to have a versus mode. Um, it's a turn limit and the number of players, so it's two to four players for this mode. And you could pick a stage or a map. This is the lowest map with the ground, so that's all right. You can play with the computer. But I don't want to do that, because, mainly because I suck. <laughs> um, this technical level, we'll go into that a bit later. But as you can see, there's a ton of sides here. There's the original Earth Federation from the Zero, um, 0079. And there's the Geon Empire. There's the 0083 Earth Federation versus the Dallas fleet. There's the AEUG, which is the anti-Earth um, government versus the Titans. This is when the corruption went into uh, uh, the Earth. Yeah. And we created a group called the Titans. And the AUG is the anti-Earth resistance. So they the switch sides now. There's a double O88, which I have no idea what time frame this is. Oh yes, yeah, probably double Zeta. There's the Axis, which is Haman Khan's um, uh, army. And there's a New Delas re yeah. No, New Desires, yeah. Which is kind of like the like third party. There's Londo Bell. Londo Bell and his awesome ilk, which is the Neo Zeon, which is the um, kind of the charged counterattack for a brain. So the um, Mew Gundam is here, and the Zazabi is here. Uh, UC123 is kind of the, the F90, F91 time frame. With the you know versus the crossbone, and you get victory Gundam here as well. I'm not sure if actually, yeah, I think usually one, two, three is the um, like that kind of time frame. No, 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 this is the um, Zeta uh, victory Gundam time frame, like Raga uh, Liga Militia, yeah, M Liga Militia. There we go, and um, the Sun's Cow Empire, 